Now it is about an hour away, so I've got to get going. I've just picked up the new shrimp. I've got them down there. I've only actually got one acclimation pipe thing. Oh, I love, why do I love shrimp so much? Any more Corey's doing laps? Yep, there we go. Hello, hello, hello. Well, welcome back to the vlog, guys. So as many of you know, behind me, I've got a load of shrimp racks or two shrimp racks or one. Let me start again. <laughs> Behind me I've got a load of tanks. Four of them are containing shrimp at the moment. We've got red cherries, tigers, blue dreams and crystal reds. Well, I've just seen a good advert online to pick up some more shrimp. They're a good price and they're local. So I'm just gonna go and pick them up. So currently we've got the tigers in here. Now I've had about two or three deaths total since I got them and I got 20. So, you know, there's a good amount in there. They're doing well. The crystal reds are in this one here, which I fully aquascaped. There was 40. We had a bit of a problem, a big spike and change in parameters. I lost half of them. We're down to about 20, but I haven't had a single loss for weeks now. Everything again doing great. Now I've just rescaped this tank here, which is the blue dream ones. Again, doing great. I haven't lost any of these, well, barely any. Maybe I've lost one or two, but I wouldn't have seen that because they've, you know, eaten them or whatever. But again, doing great. And then down the bottom, we've got the cherry shrimp, which are doing fantastic again. I don't recall seeing any of losses in this one. So should be tw at least 20, maybe a few more in there because I've added some that I found in other shrimp tanks that I've got dotted around the studios. So this tank here has got two killifish. They can see one of them now. This is the Austral, Austral, Lyotel killifish. Looking beauty. Anyway, so yeah, I'll that one is gonna be changed and swapped out. Now I've got two kinds of shrimp coming that can go in these. These are currently got two other killifish in as well that I never see. There's just a single male in there. There's a male and female pair in that one. But again, I don't ever see them, but I'm gonna move those across into this racking system as well. We've got tanks free. They're all cycled, they're all bubbling away. Everything's all good. So, oh yeah, this one's also got a load of chili respirator in as well that I'm gonna be putting in a nanoscape at some point soon. Now it is about an hour away, so I've got to get going. COVID preparations already prepared, so we're not coming in contact and everything, so it's all done safely. So I've just picked up the new shrimp. I've got them down there. You can see, I mean, I didn't film it because you know, due to the restrictions and everything at the moment, it's not the most ex exciting of, of exchanges. You just keep your distance, money goes down, pick up the, you know, it's not interesting, is it? But they're down here. Uh, they're gonna be fine now temperature wise. It's nice and nice and good temperature in the car. Uh, let's get them back to the studio and get them temperature acclimated. Well, we're gonna do some drip acclimation and uh, then we can get them into their own tanks. So that's the shrimp acclimating. So I've got yellow shrimp. Uh, I don't know, what's the, they're neocaridina, but I'm not sure what, what kind of yellow. Just They're just yellow, okay? <laughs> I didn't have any yellow and now we have. And then the other one, well, the one I'm not filling up now, it's got black crystals in. So I've got 15 black crystals because that's all that were available. And I've got 30 of the yellows. So that should be pretty good. 30 is a really good starting number. Like you, you're almost guaranteed success. I would hope so anyway. So I've only actually got one acclimation pipe thing. <laughs> Maybe I should have made two of those anyway. But yeah, I'll just keep rotating that between them over the next sort of half an hour or so. Uh, every 10 minutes, I'll just up the, the droplets per, per second. You know, just at the moment, it's like one per second. And then I'll just up it a little bit more each time as time goes by so that then there's more of my water in their bags than there was originally by that point I can actually just transfer them straight into their new aquarium but just like all the other shrimp we've got here I'm gonna be doing my own scape for each one individually you know I just think it's a really cool thing to do but at the moment we've got some nice established tanks for them to go into to start with So I've been adding water for about half an hour now. It's ready, it's time. I can get the crystal blacks in first. I'm gonna be putting the crystal blacks in this tank here. Now this tank has still actually got the uh, chili respirators in, but it's not gonna be a problem because some of the shrimp in this, back whoa, that's bright, there we go. Some of the shrimp in here are absolutely huge. So they're actually bigger than some of the fish that we've got, see? So they'll be absolutely fine in there.
There we go, guys. Straight away, looking absolutely awesome. Oh, I love... Why do I love shrimp so much? I've said this before. They're such, like, tiny little things, and yet they bring so much joy. And, like, when things start going well, they can really sort of bring happiness to you, even though they're just... They're just tiny little things. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is about them, and I don't know why they're so addictive either, but they are. That's tank number five. <laughs> and now we're getting to the point where this one is ready as well. Yeah, look, there's loads of water in there. Right, we can get the yellows in as well. There we go, that is a lot of shrimp. Now, it looks a bit messy in there because I just stirred everything up. Trying to replant that plant <laughs> that is blixa japonica and you can see the roots still go and many of you know my channel know when i set this up that it was hanging on by one root that root now goes in the soil and goes everywhere and it just hangs there <laughs> anyway i tried to plant it it stirred everything up a little bit but it doesn't matter does it uh, the uh, shrimp will enjoy picking all that off but look there's tons of them in there we've got loads and loads of yellows they're all over the place hopefully we get some really cool breeding action as well i'm looking forward to that i just want tons of shrimp i just want to be able to walk in here yeah because i'm thinking of pushing these all up so that i can put four at the top there's enough space just set it back a bit so that it doesn't touch this metal bit at all look there's loads of room everyone shifts up i could put four along the top four on the bottom i can have eight different kinds of shrimp i want to walk in here and they just be just an army of them all <laughs> I don't know why I want that. I, I can't tell you. It's not like I'm selling them or anything. Why do I want that? Oh, we just want what we want. Oh, hang on. Close that lid back up. I don't know why. I'm not worried because I don't have lids on this one, for instance. This is the uh, crystal red tank. I don't have lid on the blue dreams and I don't have a blue, bl lid on the cherries and none of them jump out. So we're all good. But, you know, we can put it on there anyway. It's already fitted. I fitted these lids because it was obviously killifish. Killifish often try and jump out the smallest of gaps that's why i put those there but there's uh, obviously the killifish in this one now and they're in that one down there that the uh, stir by cory were in so yeah that's all lidded and all good little tiger hello little tiger looking good oh whoa there we go <laughs> and recently i keep seeing this one shrimp appearing it's like the whitest of white with just a tiny little bit of red at the top there i really like that are they called something specific i, I don't really know the names like even though a crystal red is white and red they're carried in a shrimp, apparently there's tons and tons of different gradients for the different patterns. Um, can anyone tell me what Betty is? There's Betty there, just cleaning the grass for me. I don't know. I, I could probably look it up, but I'm not very good at this stuff. So Betty is, to me, a beautiful shrimp. <laughs> Behind me is the Amazon Aquarium. You guys have been following it massively. I mean, it's got really, really good views. So I'm glad you guys enjoyed it because when you make something that you're proud of, you want people to see it and it's, you know, loads of people have seen it, so that's great. We're now about two weeks into flooding the whole thing and planting it, and I honestly could not have hope for a better outcome. I've not seen any algae. The diatoms came and went within like a, a couple of days. And even adding the fish, they've settled right in and are looking fantastic as well. I just can't believe it. I mean, you always hope your aquariums get off to a good start, but I mean, wow. I mean, I've even got the, the dwarf sag, the plant at the front here. It's already starting to carpet into the foreground, which is what I wanted it to do as well. It is a very sort of invasive plant and it will cover that whole area. So I'm gonna have to keep on top of it. But I do like the idea of letting it look wild. But at the same time, still wanna keep that nice sandy foreground that we've got going on because on my research and looking at underwater sort of rivers uh well rivers underwater sorry in the amazon it showed a lot of big areas that were just plain yellows yellow to white sand and i just think that looks really good plus it keeps the overall light in the tank more because obviously the light is bouncing off the bottom coming back yeah just highlighting everything at some point next week i'll be adding some more tetras i'm not entirely sure what ones yet we'll just go to the shop have a look what's there and uh pick whatever they got the most of <laughs> many of you are actually saying i should probably get 20 schools of 20 rather than schools of 10 because obviously it's a big tank i'll start off with the tens see how it goes and if i feel like we need to add more to each group then i'll up it so i'm currently floor gang in the last video you guys saw me set up this little tank in the bottom here it's right beneath the amazon aquarium now the reason I've done that is because I can put plant trimmings or storage plants in there have it properly run properly lit and you know they can grow there and there's no rush to use them sort of thing so down here look you can see I've got a load of the uh, one two grow plants from Tropica now they I've had them for a few weeks now so they get to that point where they need to be used or they will just you know they don't last forever do they so I'm gonna put them in this tank quickly and hopefully I could just use it to keep trimming out of like a little aqua garden if you like
Okay, well I just made one hell of a mess, but you know, we've got a nice little garden going on there. I literally just put most of the pots in full and just plugged them because it's, I found it's the best way to get them locked into a shallow depth of soil. Push them right to the bottom and then pull them in with your fingers. I tried using the tweezers, didn't work very well. Just get your hands in there. That should all be growing nice and tall in no time at all. And we'll have a great selection of plants to choose from. Right, moving back over to the new shrimp. I've just fed them for the first time. They've been in for a few days, but I wanted to get them settled first and hopefully gonna start eating now. It's really strange. I'm finding it hard to know what the shrimp like because sometimes I give them one food and it doesn't really go anywhere. Another time I'll give them the same food and the whole lot's gone within no time at all. It's probably actually down to the fact of like, Oh, okay, they're hungry this time and they're not hungry that time. I mean, they could constantly graze on everything in the tank because I put back to AE as well, which creates a form of sort of biofilm on everything for them to pick at. So they've always sort of got a source of food. But to be honest, I'm just happy they're all doing so well. So the Crystal Red's absolutely loving the food that I've just put in there. I put in like a snowflake thing. They seem to love it. They've gone to town on it and most of it's actually gone. There was a lot more than that. Let me zoom in. Zoom. I don't need sound effects, sorry. Yeah, look, you can see them kicking it up there. Look at how good they're all doing, guys. I was a little bit worried, you know, obviously when we lost quite a few, that I didn't know what I was doing. And to be honest, at that point, I didn't know what I was doing. But now I do know what I'm doing and we're getting good results. Okay, over on to the blues as well in their new setup. This is their new setup, guys. I went for a really cool sort of like random rock placement, really. Totally different to the one next to it, you see. So it was a lot more white and gray, whereas this one is all green. Now the background plants will eventually go more red than that. Um, I'm just starting to reduce the amount of floating plants now because the tank is getting like settled in now. It's been set up for several weeks. But the, the shrimp are doing absolutely brilliantly. You can see there, look there. Well, they've already eaten it as well. Oh, there's a little bit left of the uh, flake stuff, but yeah, awesome. Cherries, absolutely fantastic. Darker tank this. I mean, it still needs scaping, so you can see there it's just a bit of a sort of <laughs> green pearlweed mess. But I've got plans, I've got plans, don't worry. But down here, look, so we've got some sort of snail party going on and also the cherries. I've not seen any losses in this tank, to be honest, but you would expect that from the Neo Caradina, wouldn't you? They're so hardy. Like I say before, quite a lot of uh, saddled ones here and hopefully we'll be getting some babies soon. Now the new ones, moving on next to it. Now the black crystals, here they are. Look at this guy, just front and center, just strutting his stuff. Looking at, guy, mate, it's over here. This is, whoa, look at that one. That's a beastie one. I did see one at the back somewhere as well. It was looking big. Yeah, he's hiding in there. <laughs> you can barely see him, but yeah. Oh, so they're doing good as well. Again, no losses after setup. They've been in there for two, two and a half days now, and no losses at all. I've not, not that I've seen anyway. And moving over to the yellows. Now, remember, there were a lot in here. This is where we put 30 in, and again, doing absolutely fantastic. We've got these. These are, have got a lot of younger ones in as well as adults. I've seen quite a lot of males. Hopefully I haven't just got a load of males. There must be some females in there. I mean, the juvenile ones, it's probably hard to tell at the moment because they've not got their shape. That one to me right there looks to be a female potentially. Still juvenile though, so it's hard to tell. And then onto the tigers. Here they are, all in there. Their feeding bowl look. It, it could be called a food jacuzzi, I guess, because everyone sort of just clambers on in, including the snails. Again, another great, great success of these. No buried shrimp. Yeah, no babies yet, but hopefully soon, you know? <laughs> They're stunning anyway, aren't they? Like just a beautiful looking shrimp. Very sort of odd markings. They're almost see-through with the tiger pattern on them and it looks really good, doesn't it? But again, their tank, that's gonna need sorting out as well. It's just temporary, that look. But I'm definitely moving into what I said. I'm gonna be taking this one out, moving the tigers across, and then I might have a rack of four on the top. All four of them will be scaped as well. So as many of you guys know that will already follow the vlog, in the last video I put in the new stir by Corridoras into the Discus Aquarium behind me. It'd help if I shirt, wouldn't it? <laughs> At first, I didn't see them a lot, but now they're going nuts. They've been in for four days now, so there's always a little bit of a delay on the videos coming out, so they're not like real time, because obviously I've got to film, edit, all that stuff takes time but they are just zooming around everywhere now. I'll be sat at my desk editing. I could just see all the Corys just doing loops round and round and round. It's actually really funny to watch. I just keep catching it in my eye, looking over. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is though, is that the uh, Siamese algae eaters also do the same thing and they're all just following each other in this circle and it's almost like, because the discus are quite a calm fish, the discus will just be stood there bobbing around like, what is going on? <laughs> it's like a tornado of fish around them and they're all just looking at me like, feed me, feed me. That's all they ever want, just food, more food. Right, there we go, look, 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 they're doing it already. They're just going round. <laughs> We go this way, and then you can see back around the back there the Siamese algae as well. Right through the middle, there they go. It's like a little Cory racetrack. There we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so glad they're actually doing it. I've caught it on camera because, you know, sometimes if you go too close to the tank, all the fish sort of stay still, don't they? Because they're like, what on earth is going on? Well, this is brilliant. Look. <laughs> I think I need more. Imagine if I got like 30 Corys or something like that. It would just be a never-ending stream like um, NASCAR or something, wouldn't it? And like I say, look, discus at the top, feed us, just feed us, feed me. They always wait here, by the way, when it's feeding time because they know that as soon as I drop the uh, food in, that's the sort of first place it all flows to. And they're not being pushed there or anything, don't worry. They can go anywhere they want in this tank, completely easy. Any more Corys doing laps? Yep, there we go. Hello, hello, hello. And Lewis Hamilton takes the lead. <laughs> but that is the end of the vlog, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, click the like and the subscribe button. I will see you on the next one.